Lauderdale, Florida. This is NAB Show Live. Ryan Salazar here with another edition of NAB Show Live. When I think of monitoring systems, I think of when I was a kid kind of growing into the IT world from the, you know, the old school broadcast world. So you kind of think of, you know, monitoring in a playout center. And I've got a special guest today, Ted Cordy, Chief Operating Officer of Culigen. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing well, Ryan. Thank you for having me. I'm wondering how the industry has evolved. So if you could talk about how the monitoring world used to be and what it is today? Well, the way it used to be was everything was uh, purpose built. You'd have a box that did, was a waveform monitor, another box that was an RF monitor, and people would um, you know, have engineers that would walk around, hook these up where they needed to and, and measure it. All right, Ted, so if you could share the key benefits of migrating from uh, you know, a, a facility-based system to the cloud. Well, the first one is the deployment. So you get a lot of uh, economies of scale with the deployment because it moves a lot of the cost and the risk to the, uh, the end vendor. Um, the second one is uh, the aggregation of all the data that you never had before. And that's very important with uh, solving today's problem with uh, digital streams. And the last one is all the new workflows that will be enabled once you have more and more components um, migrated into the cloud, such as big data. So quality of service, quality of experience, monitoring systems, data aggregation, and they can do their own level of analysis and then move that up to a larger big data system. So Ted, what are the benefits of adding a managed services layer to your deployment? Uh, just like the cloud has uh, enabled quite a bit, um, made a lot of improvement on the total cost of ownership, the managed services takes that one step further. So today, people just can't add enough people to cover the skills and, and the needs to keep pace with uh, the growing changes with digital technology and delivery platforms. So you need a partner in order to do it right. And a managed service allows that by uh, utilizing the cloud with shareable information. So if somebody wants to get an on-premise system, but they're also kind of shopping the cloud-based platform, can you, uh, can you kind of tell us a little bit the differences between the two and the benefits? Well, the, the on-premise is, um, is, is good if uh, security and control is a, a major part of your uh, organization's policies. Um, however, it does make it a little bit restrictive uh, as far as evolving to some of the, the newer workflows, uh, big data analytics, uh, managed services where you want to share information with other people. You almost have to look at it as uh, back in the 80s when um, you had all these proprietary networks inside of corporations and they started connecting these things together to form what we know today as the internet. Same kind of thing that the cloud is doing today. So when you go on premise, you have to build and maintain and handle all of that yourself and you're not getting any data in and out. With a cloud, you basically enable all that information sharing if it's done in a controlled and a secure manner. All right, you guys are certainly going to be at the 2016 NEB show. What are you going to be talking about? Absolutely. Uh, at NEB 2016, we'll be um, you know, furthering our message as far as our, um, our quality of service solutions, as far as uh, collect, visualize, and analyze. Uh, we've made a lot of uh, optimizations so that we can deploy probes on smaller and smaller devices. It's kind of leading us towards the internet of things. So our idea is to collect as much information as efficiently as possible. Um, and then on the other side of that, connect as many of those as possible. So we already have thousands and thousands of probes and deployments, and we'd like to grow that even further. So then that leads to managing all of that. So we have visualizations as far as to better manage all these types of pros, hierarchical dashboards, so you can make sense of all the data and improve visualizations as far as, you know, interactive bit rates and a variety of other things that allows you to get a big picture of all the information as intuitively as possible. All right, Ted Cordy, Chief Operating Officer of Culigent. Make sure you share that booth number with us. We're going to see you at the show, sir. Yes, North Hall, N1011, next to Ebert's.